Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'll demonstrate to you how you can install a Rancher container on your Ubuntu 20.04, which is running on a VM apparently. So uh, let me show you what I have here. So I have a VM running, like I said, Ubuntu 20.04, and I've got an open SSH server running on it. So I can actually use a command prompt or PowerShell to SSH into this uh, VM. And the IP address on this VM is 192.168. 138.146. So since I have an open SSH server running on this, I'm going to open a PowerShell. For some reason, if you do not have an uh, open SSH installed on it, you can install using sudo, this command called sudo apt install minus y to say yes to all the installation, saying yes or no, and then it will be open SSH dash server, just like that. Okay, we prompt it with a password, enter your password, and hit enter. And mine will go relatively fast because I already got the OpenSSH installed in it. Right? So in order to access uh, this VM, I would go SSH followed by the username and the IP address 2168.138.146. And when you hit enter, they will ask you for a password, enter your password, and you'll be able to log in here. I find SSH easy to work with, that's why I always install open SSH in all my Ubuntu VM or on the base computer. So now you got this thing all set up here, so I'm just going to clear it. I know this computer does not have, or rather this VM does not have the update and upgrade install on it. Uh, in order to run update and upgrade, it's going to be sudo update, I'm sorry, apt update, and I'm going to do both update and upgrade together. So I'm going to use the command called nn and then you're going to have to do sudo again apt upgrade. So it's going to be sudo apt update and nn sudo apt upgrade. If you hit enter and it will prompt you for a password, hit the password in there. So now this process depending on the network speed and how much uh, VM processors and RAM you have allocated might take anywhere for the duration of your time. So uh, I'm just going to let this uh, update and upgrade run for a bit. And once this is completed, I'll be right back. All right, once the uh, package has been, uh, or rather the Ubuntu has been upgraded and updated, next thing you're going to do, you have to install uh, your Rancher, uh, or rather a Docker, which is rec uh, recommended by the Rancher. So according to this uh, Rancher document at the time of this video recording, the Docker that is recommended to work with the Rancher is Docker 20.10, right? So, and this is the command to run uh, to install the Docker. You can see it requires a curl command. I know on my VM, I know I do not do not have the uh, curl uh, installed on in it, right? So, like for example, if I would type curl in there, it will tell you, you know, uh, there is a curl, but the version might not be correct. But uh, for some reason, if you want to install your curl, the command to install the curl will be sudo apt install curl. Oops, curl. apt, not apr. And then they will install it for you. So it looks like I already got the uh, newest version of the curl, but if you don't, they will install it if you type this command here. So once, uh, and also in order to find out whether you got curl, you type curl version, it will tell you what's the version of curl that you have installed on your Ubuntu. So once that uh, curl is done, upgrade is done, next thing you want to do would be uh, to run this curl command here. So I'm just going to go ahead verbatim copy this command in here. I'll leave the link in the comment section below just in case if you want. And I'll leave all the uh, commands that I've been using today on the comment section so that you don't have to uh, save your typing, I guess. So, okay, I'm going to go this way, curl exactly like what is shown on the web page there and hit enter. So what it does is that uh, it installs a Docker for you there. And this takes as well uh, a bit of time. So I'm going to fast forward and I'll be right back. Okay, once the Docker is completely installed, just to verify, I guess uh, you can look at your section here. The Docker that they uh, installed is version 20.10 as, uh, as this document here has uh, prescribed, right? So that means your Docker is good and ready to go. So I'm just going to clear this screen here. So next thing you want to do will be to add uh, the user to the Docker user group. And the command you'll be using is 
uh, this command here sudo user mode uh, space dash a capital G docker dollar user and and new user group docker so I'm gonna hit enter here it doesn't look like it does did anything but uh, it did add the user group users to the docker user group there so I'm just gonna clear this guy here the next command you'll be running would be to pull a rancher container a docker container okay the command to to pull that you can actually get it from the website as well let me pull the web page here it's actually on the rancher quick start if you scroll down you'll see uh, this command here I'm just gonna copy it again I'll, I'll leave all the command on Ubuntu command on the comment section below so basically creating a new uh, container of the rancher hit enter it, it will tell you that uh, this locally latest is not found but uh, it's okay you know it, it uh, just does does the installation uh, of whatever container that they found to be the latest on their repository so again this one depending on the speed and how much CPU processor you have allocated on your VM might vary so I'll be right back uh, as soon as this uh, container download and creation is completed all right the uh, docker container for rancher has been completed uh, you can do docker ps to look at the uh, container another command to you can actually use to look at the container a bit longer would be container list and that's the same thing over here one thing you'll note will be the container ID which will be handy when you do the bootstrap password here shortly next thing you want to do would be to open a browser I'm gonna use Chrome and then enter the IP address of this Ubuntu so if I if you want to know the IP address of Ubuntu it will be IP ADDR that's the address and the IP address on this Ubuntu would be 192.168 this guy here and you take that address paste it in here and just run it and you'll be confronted with this web page here if your rancher is running telling you that uh, HTTPS is being used but you don't have certificate you click on advance and proceed to this guy here unsafe so what this does is it opens up a rancher web page inquiring you about your password and your bootstrap password I guess to start off with so in here this is the very first page that rancher requires you to execute on this here I'm gonna try to make it slightly bigger here on here this docker logs you want to click on it to copy it and the word copy will be coming in here again I'm gonna go ahead and do the uh, docker ps to get the container ID and then I'm gonna take this copy it and paste it in here it's the same command here I just paste it in here over here you're gonna have to edit the container ID so just copy this and then replace that container ID here with the container of the rancher container ID of the rancher just like that so it's docker logs container ID followed by greater than two greater than n1 and grab bootstrap so what this does is it'll give you a bootstrap password you take this bootstrap password you copy it into your clipboard again once you copy the bootstrap password you need to go into the web page of the rancher and then paste the bootstrap password in here right it's the same bootstrap password and then after that log in with local user click enter here it will show you as uh, to the next web page over here you are prompted to enter your new password your admin password you can actually use the randomly generated password if you want but if you want a specific password you click on this guy here and you give him a password your password required I think to be 12 characters if I were to make it really short here like that and click on agree allow remove this guy here they will, they will tell you that your password is too short you can see if I can scroll out I think I need to zoom out here you see the password must be at least 12 characters right so I'm just gonna create a password that is uh, more than 12 characters just like that I normally remove this uh, allowed collection of anonymous statistics uh, and I have you have to put a check mark on agree here and you click continue 
Okay, so once that's done, now you are at the Ranchers web page. I'm going to close this guy here. And then this is a default settings. I like to leave it as home. If you put it as last visited, it will bring you to the last visited page based on your cookie. So this is your first cluster here. And then you can click on it. And that's your Ranchers cluster itself, right? So you can actually look at the node, namespace, and then you can actually go back to your cluster itself. I think it's a good uh, spot to stop here. If you'd like me to make more tutorials on how to create additional cluster on this rancher, do leave a comment on the comment section below and I'll add more clusters in here. And if you have any question on the rancher, do drop a question on the comment section below. Other than that, uh, you have a good day and please subscribe and like.